Um, we're back with another video and the heat is on and, and I'm turning it off and I'm gonna turn my car off because you can't hear either <laughs> so this video is already going really backwards bad 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 I'm so tired I'm so hype I've been up since 530 I've been shaking Rachel for the past three hours to get her to wake up she's awake you awake yeah not yet no <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see from this title, this is going to be a really cool video because it's a diet I currently do. And we're going to be doing a day in keto to where we're going to be doing um, keto hacks with fast food. Yeah, restaurants. We're basically eating keto in any restaurant, kind of showing you how you can get away. Not how you can get away with it, but how you can do <laughs> it. Um, because, how you can cheat the system. Yeah, cheat. Because um, a lot of people, like that's like their biggest excuse, honestly. Yeah. Like, um, if you're traveling or anything, there's always, like, something that you can do. People making, ex it's always people making excuses. That's yeah. That's what it comes down to. But, guys, we're going to go ahead and head to our first stop. I'm mainly doing the talking because she hasn't had coffee yet. So, I don't need it yet. <laughs> but we're going to head to Starbucks right now. And we're going to show you how you can get a make a keto drink at Starbucks with very minimal carbs and we have all the nutrition stuff down for all you people saying it's not keto. Okay. Okay. Hi, how are you? What can I do for you today? Hi, um, let's see. Can I get two of your lo just large coffees? And then... Like iced coffees or regular? Yeah. yeah, we'll do iced coffee. Iced coffee, okay. Yep, and okay. then... Can I get a four shot or three shots of sugar-free vanilla and then three shots of sugar-free dulce de leche? So it's going to come out to be 745 at the order for you. All right, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Can I get a cake pop? No. <laughs> no. It's a day in keto. Not K day in Rachel. Rachel land. Hi, right, good. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. I'm going to do the first taste because I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It's too so, much, not enough? Actually, they made it pretty good this time. You know when you get like that iced coffee, like just right? Yeah. It's mine's like that. Is it just right? Mm-hmm. Not too heavy on the cream. Oh, that's bomb. Isn't it? It's pretty They, they made it really, really good, good today. Probably Sometimes the they make it pretty bland. This is probably the best one I've had. One time we got it, and I swear, mine was just heavy cream. I know. Like, no it was coffee. straight heavy cream. Heavy cream with vanilla shots in it. You guys, it's Friday morning, and traffic's insane because we're driving at, like, 8 o'clock right now. People are trying it's to get like to work. rush hour. Bad. So, we're about to do our next stop. We're going to do McDonald's. Not our first choice, but it's a popular chain. Yeah. So, if it's something that you're looking for a last-minute um, breakfast and you don't know where to go... And there's usually always McDonald's, like if you're traveling, I feel like. Like 6,000 McDonald's. Yeah, there's per always so foot. much. Um, so f we're gonna do full keto and. McDonald's. And McDonald's. Nah. Honestly, for keto, like we usually cook at home. Yeah, it's, it's easy. a little bit easier. Just eggs and bacon. This is just if you're trying to, if you're on the go or uh, you just don't feel like cooking, you wanna go grab something real quick. It's still pretty good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's weird getting like an English muffin without the muffin. <laughs> Hi, man. How are you? Hi. Can I get um, let's see, two sausage breakfast burritos with no tortilla? I don't want sauce. What sauce? Do you want sauce? Uh, sure. I don't well, sauce. We'll do mild. Okay. And then, can I go ahead and get um, your two for four? With no muffin on it, just the egg, sausage, okay. and cheese. And I'm gonna do two of those, so a total of four. Okay. You want all those in the same plate or different? Um, you can put them all on the same plate. Okay. Yeah. Yep, so yeah, just all that, no muffin, and then the breakfast burritos with no tortillas, and that, yes. that'll do it. All right, 11.64. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like every time you ask for no bun, they legit are like, like no bun, huh? <laughs> for food? Yes. What are you waiting for? I got uh, breakfast burritos with no bun. No tortillas, no yep. muffin, no 
that's it. So we just got back from our uh, breakfast or early morning run. We got some Starbucks, so we'll go ahead and go uh, review that real quick. Uh, what we did is we just got a large, uh, large black coffee with three pumps of vanilla, uh, sugar-free vanilla, and three pumps of sugar-free dulce de leche with heavy cream. So this is actually going to be the only one where we don't know the calorie count on it, um, but we do know the carb count, and the car carb count on this one is seven net carbs. We're eating McDonald's. McDonald's. All right. Uh, is it good? All right, guys, we're going to go over the calorie count on these. So Justin's egg McMuffins without any McMuff Mc without any muffin. without muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is 160 calories per one. Mm -hmm. So you got 11 uh, grams of fat and then three uh, net carbs. Nice. So your whole breakfast will be like 10 Nine. Carbs. Nine 12. Carbs. So mine is the sausage burrito without tortilla. Tortillas. Is uh, 150 calories, 12 grams of fat, and it's only four net carbs, but I got two of them, so I'm eating eight carbs. Eight carbs. So I'm gonna put pepper on it because I, love I like pepper. spice, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's spicy. Cheers. I'm gonna try yours, yours too. It's really good. Try that. It tastes like a big muffin, doesn't it? Like, you realize, like, you the muffin spice? doesn't. No, absolutely not. <laughs> you know what it can water down with? Keto Starbucks. Breakfast Starbucks coffee, McDonald's. McDonald's. I'm gonna go, like, do you say this is a win? I think it's pretty good. All right, totally. this is a win. We're going to go ahead and check this one as a yes. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. And we're going to be going to lunch. All right, guys, we're at Chipotle. Um, we're going to show you how to eat keto at Chipotle, which is relatively easy. Super easy. Everything but no rice, beans, or anything that tastes good. What I did is I got two different kinds of meat on this one. I got pulled pork and I got steak. And then I got um, some of their green sauce. I got sour cream, shredded cheese, um, actually double sour cream, some guac. What else did I get? Oh, and some pico de gallo. That's what I got. And I think the total carb count on this one is like five grams of carbs. Like it's not very much. It's not very high at all whenever you count net carbs. Um, and it might be a little bit more due to the salsa because I didn't do salsa in there. So have to recheck that, but. Ultimately, I think it's under 10 grams of carb. I pretty much got the same thing, but I got lettuce and no guac because I'm allergic. Yeah, allergic to avocados. But seriously, if you guys just want some good sauce, get some Chipotle Tabasco sauce, even at the grocery store. I put it on everything. Straight sour cream. Oh yeah, that's nothing but sour cream. Damn good though. So. Wow, we're really hating on Chipotle right now. Well, we're just trying to show you that, you know, on how you can eat keto on the go. If you're just looking for something on your lunch break or, you know, there's Qdoba's, or not Qdoba, there's a Chipotle's everywhere. But yeah. you can kind of do the same thing for Qdoba um, or on the border or wherever is kind of near you. There's a lot of different restaurants that do this type of buffet. And actually, um, Qdoba, they have a keto bowl now. That's like, you just ask for the keto bowl and they make it. Hmm. So you don't even have to say like, no rice, no beans. They just like, no. Hmm. As you can see, we're not in a car. Um, we're still home. And we did a little too much today. So we were gonna record a dinner and go somewhere, but The Ranch just came on Netflix and we trying to watch that. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, I think we just decided to stay inside today, but we did order keto dinner. We are gonna be ordering from... Uber E. Uber Eats, but who is it? Carl's Jr.? Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr., we're going to be doing lettuce-wrapped burgers, or yeah. no bun. We're going to see how that comes. Yeah, I'm <laughs> guessing they're going to show up with bun, and we'll probably have to take it off. But Did you put no bun? I put a no, but, you know, Uber Eats, it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 50, 50. Yeah, it's but like a hit and miss. They should be here, actually, any minute, so... Uh, we're just waiting. We got Carl's Jr. Thanks Look what it says. Don't steal my fries, Rachel. <laughs> and it has like a curse word on it. Look at that. That's because they freaking steal fries. They steal classic double cheeseburgers. All right. Mm. There's Thousand Island on it. That was bomb. Pretty good. Holy cow. That's really good. That way you guys can see the real quality. Not picture perfect, but 
It's been driven in a minivan all the way here. It's so good. Even Benny's eating. She's that hungry. Mm -hmm. This is the California Classic Double. I think you ate that weird. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you ate it wrong somehow. <laughs> there we go. You didn't try to wrap it. It looked like a tortilla. There we go. There we go. Look at that. I feel like lettuce wraps are always messy. Oh, every like time. Always. Yeah, they drip water. In. Tell me right now. Now, now, now. It's so good. Just kidding. No, like a lettuce wrap is actually really good from Carl's Jr. That just shows that you can do a day in keto even on the go. Typically, we don't eat out three times a day <laughs> in keto. So, yeah, it's pretty gnarly. I mean, what from your, from your experience, what was the best? The best? Donald's. I'm going to say Carl's Jr. Yeah, Carl's Jr. The Carl's burgers. Carl's Jr. Yeah. and the Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks was good. Starbucks was good. But yeah, guys, that's a day in keto. So if we were like on vacation or something like that, that's probably kind of like how our schedule would go. Um, probably more fine dining. Or not fine dining, but like restaurants. Some we restaurants, do, diners. Like fast food, like for people that travel. Yeah, this is just for like kind of keto on the go. So. Overall, it's been a pretty fun day. Um, I hope you guys get a lot of va value out of this. It feels weird holding the camera. Isn't it weird? Yeah, I feel. Doesn't it feel... suck? No, it suck. It's just awkward. It's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Follow us on our social medias and our TikToks. We update on our TikToks at least a couple times a week. So if you want to see videos, run. Make sure to like and comment on this video on what you think our next video should be. Um, this one was really, 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 really fun. So hopefully we gave you guys some value on this. Also, I feel like if you order Uber Eats, like you have to wear a beanie. Yeah, you have to. Right? That's a, that's a law. That's like a given. If you want to learn more about keto, definitely research it because... And message then Justin. And message me. I'm, on, I'm pretty strict on keto. I'm really strict no. on keto, actually. So message me. Go ahead and uh, if you have guys have any questions, just follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave it right there. Also, you can listen to Justin's podcast on Spotify. I'm on the seven major platforms. So okay. any platform that uh, you use for your podcast, make sure to check it out. Name of my podcast is The Rebel Academy, where we talk about anything that's good. Um, you know, a lot of stuff with the mind and, you know, just positive thinking, self-development, everything like that. So, All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching Foodie, Foodie Duo. Duo.